as Aleli reaches out and takes the shade wither key from the twine around it, it begins to slip out from the twine. Arcelia, you go to reach for it. I need a reflex save, please, Arcelia. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fuck. I'm gonna use my hero point. Okay. Twenty-one. You grab the key before it falls into Aleli's lap. Oh, oh that was a close one. Yes. Thank, thank you. That, that was very close. <laughs> I, I, Matt. I, I, from what you say, this is a very bad thing for elves to touch this, yes? It could kill you. I thought I was being careful by not touching the key. I was just grabbing the it's, rope. It's all right. Please, hand me the rope. She passes over the, the twine to you. I would like to reapply the twine and tie it. Uh, please, just be more careful. I will. Place it down here, and I will I place look. it. I double knot it, and I put it down. Aleli begins to look around, investigating this. Hmm. This is an interesting pattern. Pat pattern? Mm. Yes, I am saying that right? Mm. Yes. And she sort of, she will grab something as a pointer and will start to point around the key. And she says, it looks like... Mm. And she says in Sylvan, leaf? Leaf? Yes, leaf. Leaf. Hmm. Material. Hmm. Strange. She Have looks, you seen anything like it before? She looks towards uh, you, uh, Malovic, and she says, I think. I think maybe Gentiel will know more, maybe. Mm. Perhaps. Hmm. Where is he? He will probably have heard now. Mm. He should be here soon. He's on his way. Would you like me to go get him? I think he would be very excited to see others from your home. He will probably be here soon. Uh, good then. Now why does this key pose a threat to elves? It is linked to a curse. The Obnubilate curse. Yes. How do we know that this works? Yes. Yes. How? Has it been tested? Yes. Is that how you lost your... No, that... Almost. That might be one of the reasons. This key was a part of a plot. The main reason why we came through the gate to be here. We were sent on a mission to stop the curse from 
meeting fruition. This key, it plays a major part in it. I don't even know who you are, Green One. I know that you woke up, still waiting for an introduction of sorts. Oh, where are my manners? Um, I put away the journal that I have taken out. I've taken notes, trying to record whatever it is that our elven friend here has said, observations they've made. I dust myself off. My name is Arcelia. Finally, a name. Mm. I got tired of calling you Green One and confusing. Um, a rush talk, was it? With you. I am Malavik. Good to finally meet you without carrying you. Oh. <laughs> That why I have got a crick in my neck. That was gentle. Thank you, stranger. Mm. Malavik. Malavik, yes. Malavik here has proven quite useful during our journey. Uh, after, of course, he brutalized Rostok, and I stabbed him <sighs> with a billion needles. Oh. Well, more like four, but. If it makes me feel better, I didn't even feel them. But Arashtok, unfortunately, I missed his vitals, but he said it was deeper than it was supposed to be. I had to check and make sure you see that they weren't enemies. The best way to do that is why they're lying down. The debt was paid. I brought them here. Could have opened up with a hello instead. Around here, that's not possible. Not out there. That is. That's were. all right. We're past it. I just figured to, it'd be fun to bring it up, so she gets the full scope of things, so to speak. There's a mm. rapid knock on the door. Um, in in Sylvan, come in. Door opens. You see a very lithe, elven man walk in stern look on his face that quickly softens. Hello? He looks around. <clears throat> the exaggerations weren't exaggerations. Yes, we have guests. More from Golarian. Amazing. And then uh, quickly leaning in to look at all of you, uh, taking particular interest in um, in uh, Karun and Arcelia and Arashtok, this oh. elf gets a closer look. <laughs> ah. Excuse me. I have never seen one like you before? I've... It's fine. Never seen anyone like you either. Um... Please, uh, tell me everything. And he sort of uh, begins to walk over to the table. Um, uh, how are you here? long story. How much time do we have? As much time as you need. Hmm. I look to Yara. Um, well, it all began with a Dr. Rittleson. Um, we were working for this fellow. Um, we were attempting to put a stop to the Obnubulate curse. We ended up 
finding our ways and quite a few pickles, <laughs> so to speak. Um, we were previously in the first world, and we found our way here. Rapid fire, Sylvan comes out from both Genthiel and uh, and Aleli. Um, again, it's like a different dialect, so it's it's kind of hard to pick up everything, and they're talking very quickly. Um, and uh, you can, they're asking each other questions about um, the first world and um, uh, uh, Aleli's mentioning things about the Ayudara. Um, she makes a, a motion to point at um, several of your necks and um, the symbol on your chest, Yara. Uh, and Gentile says, Fascinating. I wonder. And you arrived here through the Ayudara? Indeed. From another world. Just like you, Malavik. Mm, except they're all together, and their key is intact. Yes. Do you have the key? Yes, do not touch it. It is cursed against elves. Apparently. They said they tested it. I don't know how that is. Our friends touched it in a very dire situation, and they began showing very, very horrific symptoms. Mm. It is supposed to disintegrate. Did they disintegrate? No, they resisted it, but they immediately removed the key from themselves. It is why I have it. Mm. As Genthiel begins to get a closer look at the key, he holds fingers up to his temple, and you can see some winces of pain across his face. And are are you all right? Oh, I've experienced this psychic signature. Only once before. Mm. My mother, Iscariel, revealed it to me so that I would recognize it again if such a time should come. It is the imprint of Osoyo, the Black Frost Whale. What? What is that? Does that ring any bells to us at all? I would assume not. You can all make whoever is trained or above uh, in... Oh boy. Probably a cult, I would say. I am indeed, then. Indeed. He said uh, whale, right? Yeah. I'm going to use a hero point for that. 22 on my end. A nat 20 with a 30. <gasps> oh, wow. I'll take that over uh, what I rolled before. <laughs> okay. So I'll tell you some extra bits in a moment here. But Gentiel is still very focused on the key. And he says, My mother was a renowned healer and also part of a secret society, a fellowship tasked with remembering the campaign against Soyo. Of this being, I know almost nothing, except that it was a grave threat, a danger so terrible that even the mere legend of it was passed down to only a few worthy scholars. Yes, Black Frost Whale 
is bound up in that curse. I can feel it. Now. Yara. You are unfamiliar with it with a 22. Wow! Yes. Arashtak. Now. This is a crit. Um. Still don't know everything, but you do know some things. Let's see what you do now. You know, and I'm trying to think of how you would know this, but I'm going to send a whisper to you, a DM. All right. And let you figure it out. <clears throat> oh, that's so exciting. That's about all you know. Still. Uh, black frost whale, you said? Yes. I know a little about them. Very interested, Genthiel moves in closely to you. How? What do you know? Not much. Uh, you imprisoned it beneath the ice. Very old, powerful magics. Uh, Where? Uh, uh, how? I don't know how, but the, the polar ice, uh, it was the, uh, Silverian Shepherd, uh, Angolarian. A shepherd? A shepherd of soil. Oh, Soyo is the whale's name. We must know more. They uh, did they shepherd him? Maybe they tricked it, moved it, herded it, until they could imprison it. Uh, my information is uh, folklore and communing with the queen. You have a queen? Uh, Yes, uh, the Mosquito Queen. My... I do not know this wording. Ah, uh, patron. My leader. De de deity. A god of sorts. Or yes. goddess. I think Genthiel and Aleli are like unconsciously like slapping mosquitoes. They don't know why. They're like looking. They don't... What is this? Uh, They, they shepherded it from the crown of the world, their homeland. Uh, more than that, I don't think I know. Are you saying that elves from here 
brought this black frost whale to your world? It is possible. It could I mean, be. We got here somehow. Did we not? I must find out more information. Mm. Well, someone made those gates we came through. Yes. My mother may know more. We would have to send someone to go find Iscariel and retrieve the information about Osoyo. She is dead, however. <coughs> so we would need some sort of necromancer. No. no. Loskia Lua is here, and Aleli begins to chime in. We are here for a reason. We sit atop the memory cache. Th ah. That is the right word? C cache? <clears throat> Collection, yes. yes. Cash would be accurate. Yes. Um, it's not just to watch the stars. We are here because deep beneath our streets uh, there is a sacred site, a place where our scholars go and people of the past, the dead, were laid to rest. Um the memories of the best and smartest are preserved there. The oh. memory cache. Very useful. This is fascinating. Gentiel and Aleli look at each other. It is not often that anyone goes, you see. We are not the adventuring sort. Why would you need to be the adventuring sort? It has been over a hundred years since anyone has journeyed there. We are unsure if there is any danger. There is danger outside these walls. There'll definitely be danger there. Untouched for a hundred years, I would absolutely wager, yes. Uh. <sighs> <clears throat> well, <sighs> though I have not said that I was going to join any escapades, I would suggest something to you and your band. I would suggest that you find the first priority, which is healing your companion to the fullest before venturing into any more danger, though getting that plant is more than likely dangerous. Speaking of which, and I turn to uh, a lady, you mentioned that the plant we need is not here. What does that mean? Does that mean not in Laskialua? Does it mean in the jungles? Um, yes, the doctor told me that it is... Um, it is... Well, yes, in, in the expanse. That is why we do not have it here. And there would be no vendors who would have such a thing either. We would have to go search. When vendors, um... Uh, at shop, at shop keeps? Ah! Um... Um, no. Very good. All right. Do you think that you can mark, um, on a, a, a map of sorts? Sort of the general area we would be able to find such a thing? Yes, yes. 
uh, the doctor uh, um, uh, mentioned. Yes. Perfect. Yes, because we are new here, so a map would be very useful. Um, but I-, I suppose we should speak amongst ourselves about our next steps other than that. Yes, um, please. Um, uh, Gentiel and I will study the key some more. Aleli, are the hot baths available? Of course. Good. I'll stand up and uh, start to make my way towards Aleli, the hot baths. Aleli will smell you, by the way, as you... Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> yes, it was... Um... Lily begins to, to walk around and smell all of you. Ooh. Mm. I smell her back. Uh, she smells like a, a very fragrant floral smell. You smell nice. I'll Thank stand you. up and like, well, oh, good luck on your journeys, and uh, I'll, uh... One moment. Where can we find you? Hot baths, steam, waterfalls. That does sound very nice. It does sound very nice. Shall we have a conversation at the baths then? Yara, do you think that my rash will do all right in the hot water? They are based regular. Off of, based off of what we know about like what she's been going through, um, would I be able to kind of gauge whether it would be okay or if her rash would be agitated by hot water? I'm definitely agitated by hot water. Um, I think uh, probably some kind of... Uh, I imagine cold bath with some... Uh, uh, probably some... Fantasy aloe vera. Yeah. At the very, at the very least. I did refill my, my kit along the way. Um, well, we most I'll certainly wouldn't want to have you in hot water, but if they have a cool bath. I can help with that as well. Oh. Well, uh, all right then. I won't say no to a bath. Um, mm. all right. there is one thing to be careful about. You're going to want to... I don't imagine that there's an easy way to get to the baths without being seen. People will be most curious. Ah! It is fine. I will distract them. And I'll start to unbuckle my top and drop all my clothing from the from the waist up, and uh, I'll go out first, and I'll walk out and uh, walk towards the baths. What? I think Yara and I are just kind of sitting back, just like watching. Hmm. He's a lovely figure. Uh, There's nothing you haven't seen before. You can see several Do people well. crowding around Malavik. Sfai. Scars are a part of my people. Yes. I will I gather know. up his clothing. Sfai. And I will carry it with me. All right. Uh, let's go then. I think, like, even as the doors open, there's people, like, like looking inside, like, you, the chatter immediately, like, erupts uh, from everyone. You just... You can hear the, the crowds outside, like a few people clapping and stuff. All right, I suppose we will follow suit then, but not really, like, the, not not the stripping suit thing until we get there. I mean, unless you both would like to, I personally would like to remain inside of my clothing. I have no preference. Doesn't bother me. We lizard folk do not care for such things. I'm quite right. used to being naked. Yeah. 
down this hole for the baths. They do not have them separated, but there are sides. That'll be on the left side. Do note that they can get pretty hot. I don't know what your temperature is coming from Gumblarian. Test the water first. Towels, I guess you would call them, even though they're made of interesting fabrics or you would have to ask for them. But good luck with that. Took me um, a couple of hours to get them from being asked too many questions. Um, yes. And I'll uh, walk up and grab towels and strip down and wrap myself in one and give my armor and stuff over uh, that I have on my bottoms and uh, look towards Yara and say, place your items over there. Thank you. Yes. All right. There's probably just some like small rough shot, uh, like uh, cubbies here and there. And uh, Karun will speak up and say, um, Oh, wow, like everyone gets to just, you know, look at each other's bodies now. Yes, we get to look at each other's bodies. Indeed. I haven't even really seen my whole body yet. Do I look weird? Do I look like a pervert? You look wonderful. Yeah. What like percentage the, the elfiest of, pervert I've ever met? What, what percentage of pervert do you think I look like? Uh, there's nothing wrong with being a healthy amount of a pervert. Okay. I'd say like 45%. Does that seem accurate to the rest Ooh, of you? That much? Oh, Maybe wow. like 35. Okay. Does 35 feel better than 45? It does, actually. Okay, it then 35%, percent, yes. Okay. Mm. I'll walk off during this conversation and uh, find the stall and strip completely down and steam up and wash. So I imagine they don't have, like, separate areas here? No, um, no, yeah. as I explained yeah. it. It's yeah. communal. But it is beautiful. So do we all just? Yep. Yep. I just disrobe. My tail. Well, yes. Here, body is art in many shape, forms, or fashion. Of course. Just make sure you face one way. And I point to the glass area. For Celia. <laughs> uh, how does my rash look? Oh, trying to well, stop scratching at it. She did not scratch here, mm. and I conjure water above you and dump cold water that invigorates you. <laughs> oh, that's Next cold. minute you have 10 temp HP. <laughs> Oh, that's literally a spell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's it's specifically amazing. <laughs> cold water that goes upon your head. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> I can't feel anything, so maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> that may help. It will help with the inflammation, to be sure. Yes, that was my thoughts. <laughs> and I dip in, into the water. <laughs> Thanks, Arashta. Well, perhaps you, you could put your... F- well, maybe you might suffer from hypothermia. Hmm. Um... It, it is not ice cold! Yes, you can probably put your feet in and be fine. If you'd like, at least. Oh, all right. I'll sit down hmm. and dip a big green toe into it's, the water. So the water is about as hot as anyone would be used to, like pretty warm um i imagine that you're not really expecting it to be that hot it's like just oh. at the point where you, most people wouldn't be able to tolerate it oh well i like it hot 
It's it's a bit on the warm side. Ah, careful. it's it's quite scalding actually. <sighs> I'd just be swimming around in it. <laughs> just, well, just after you finish swimming around in the bathing area, I suggest going into the lounging area where you would. Yeah, there's actually, just like filth. Like as soon as you yeah. enter the water, just like this, this trail yeah. of filth behind all of you. Uh, and I'll so I'll turn around and point to where everyone else is watching as it drains into that area. Just the only person um, that's really taken a bath in a while is a rosh talk. Mm. Just moments ago in a red river. <laughs> Yes. And I'll make it a point as well to try and um, do my best to rinse off Arcelia's hair. Um, oh, I have soap in my inventory. I take it out. I look excited. I hand you the soap. All right. And I will wash her hair and back. The rest is on oh. you, darling. Oh, do you want me to get your back? Sure. Bye. <laughs> Suds up and leather. Squeak, 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 squeak. When you are done, you can join me at the spring where you just relax. So granted, it is hot. And I walk over there and I dip in and uh, relax. I would follow. <laughs> Wait, Arash, talk. Come, come. Uh, uh, come here, darling. I swim back. <laughs> Before we discuss things with uh, Malavik, I figured we'd talk amongst uh, ourselves. There's ah. several people that have also like braved their way into the baths that are trying to be very casual bathers, um, uh, you know, in here and like doing the thing where they're trying to look like they're not really intrigued by everything you do and or say. Um, and oh, I recline uh, a little bit. Uh, I flex my muscles. <laughs> Probably here, like in the distance, I'm hyperventilating. So, um, we have some options here. Obviously, we want to go and uh, get what it is we need for Arsenia. But... <clears throat> Finding out more about this uh, situation we are presently in does sound intriguing, albeit dangerous. While we have a moment to ourselves, I just wanted to check in. Are we that Malavec person? Do we trust him? I like him. Hmm? What is your read on it, Narashtak? I do not like him, but I do trust him. Hmm. His attack first, questions later. Hmm. He yes, is willing that would be something to, knock to temper. Us. Yes. He was willing to attack all to then determine after if we were a threat. Well, yeah, foolhardy. I could imagine being in a place away from home could be disconcerting. We have the benefit of each other. They are alone? I feel that is a bit of an exaggeration. Many seem to like him here. If he is alone, I think that is by choice. Hmm. That is fair. But I will say, the people here are quite different than those back home. I like them. I do as well. Um... He is quite strong and capable. Yes, and he sticks to his word. I respect that. Hmm. Well, that's good enough for me. You say we'd bring him along. If he will join. Though, I think the leverage of having a key home would be enough for him. 
I concur. Hmm. I do worry if he is to meet the doctor again. His hostility was unhidden. Well, perhaps through our events that we will go through, we will either join his side of uh, absolute outrage, or he will join our side of understanding and academia, and perhaps forgive the doctor um, due to learning more about the world around him. I, uh, obviously, it's more likely um, that he won't, but mm. at least try. <sighs> he seems like he'd, he could use a friend, and not one that just ogles him constantly. Hmm. There is something sweet about connecting with people who know where you might be from. Hmm. Hmm. Very similar trials and tribulations we've been through as well. Hmm. Yes. We'll have to learn more about him. Hmm. He, he has been fairly open, admittedly. Hmm. Uh. It gives me great comfort that you had someone to help look over you while I was, uh, incapacitated. Hmm. Uh, the next step, then, regarding that, I think it would be wise to heal your ailment first. Hmm. It is only temporary. Your current state, I think us exploring elsewhere before it is taken care of, puts you at undue risk. Mm, I can already feel the elixir. The itching is slowly starting to come back. Uh. We'll make it work. Mm. Right, so, you're all on board with that then. Um, before we speak to uh, Malavik, I did want to let you all know that um, I found a letter and you would notice my face kind of sadden a bit. Um, on a dronis, I found a letter. Ah. Um, oh. So perhaps before we go to bed tonight or um, sometime in, in the next couple of days we we read it. I haven't had the heart to to open it. Uh, is it addressed to anyone? Um on the uh front of it it says uh Zalia or Talia? That's, That's the name of his sister, isn't it? Uh, oh. Is that for us to read, then? Perhaps it will give us some insight into where she is. Or who she is. Hmm. Or who he was. Hmm. Sorry to bring it up at a moment like this, but I um, just wanted you to know, in case anything happens to me in the next couple of days, that this is on my person. Hmm. Um, Thank you. I put my hand on your shoulder and squeeze it. Um, thank you for picking that up. I would, uh, wipe slightly under my eye. Um, how about we go and reconvene with, um, our horned friend? Our horny friend? Oh, Malavik, H yes. Horned, horned. Um, you've also picked horny. up some horny friends probably around <laughs> the, the bath. Oh. Yeah. I readjust. <laughs> 
There's several, like, elves just, like, hyperventilating, like, dunking their heads as soon as you turn their way, like, under the water, like, steam these, rising up. These people are funny. Hey, uh, no, that is not intimidated. Hmm. Eh. And then I head off to the other side. Mm -hmm. Thoroughly annihilating this rinsing area. It's like, <laughs> it's the, the rust colored water that you had from that red <laughs> rivers, like all over the place, just filth and muck in this, in this, uh, pool is just disgusting. Um, there is probably like a release or something there. There's a, a stopper to, to clean it out. Um, I hope they have someone to wash our clothes mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. It doesn't smell good, doesn't look good. I mean, you do have spells to do those things as well. Oh, I do, yes. Yeah. Um, which works just as well as a bath, which I'm sure is why it's in the game. Um, but uh, you uh, have rinsed yourselves off early. You make your way over to the other actual lounging area. Malavik. Hmm. Yes. I see that you found the I stand up area. Um I'm sure that you're gonna take your leave. Not quite. Oh we no, I'll sit have back down. A proposition for you, if you'd listen. Go on. I'd look over at Arcelia. It seems that uh I owe you. You looked after my people while I could not, and... There is I no debt, Arcidia. It was on me. I attacked. And I paid my debt in full. You are clear. Hmm? I think you can't decide that for me, but... Either way, I would like... We would like to help you. Is it your intention to try to go back to Galarian? Mm. Is it my intention to find my brother and the clue and the crew that was supposed to be with me? But yes, I would like to have words with that doctor. Hmm. Let us work together then. Find our way back to Galarian so you can find your people. You want to help me go back to Galarian? It's... Yes, but also it is a mutual thing. We all want to go back to Galarian. And you are strong and capable, and we could probably use a strong and capable person to help us uh, amongst the trials that we will have in front of us, to be sure. <laughs> ah... I have not fully decided if I wanted to go back to Galarian or not. As you see here, it's quite capable of... As I look around. The baths themselves are uh, a white stone. It's probably sort of similar to concrete, smooth, and um, uh, generally well-maintained. I mean, the whole place is really nice. Um, this is like a really nice little scholarly place surrounded by horrific <laughs> death-defying jungle. So, you can see mm. that um, night is uh, starting to approach as well. Were you going to say something, Malavik? As you can see, it's quite um, comfortable here. Also, the outside world prepares you for any kind of training you would need. Return to a world filled with doubt, wars, consistent <sighs> anomalies. Dr. Riddleson. And that. I cannot promise that I will be on my best behavior if we are to see this doctor unless he can provide me with information. 
So, part of our proposition, then, would be to find ourselves some answers ourselves. They were speaking of this uh, place underneath Askilua. Would you want to come with us? Do you need my protection? Needs. Yes. It would be helpful, to be sure. And it would mm. get us all closer to some answers, I think. And it sounds just... like it might help some of the people here, too. We can clear a safe path, make it accessible to these people. Well, since you put it that way, mm, I do owe them. Yes. I will join you on your quest. But do know there may be a time where I come ask for a favor in return. Are you willing to answer such call? I think so. I, yes. It does depend on what you ask. I think the same goes for you. Hmm. You ask us to kill one of our own, I will say now the answer is no. But if it is to help you find someone you care about, I think the answer would be yes. By means of kill one of your own, you're talking about in your immediate group here with us today. Yes. That will not be a request coming from me. Have you ever slayed a dragon before? Oh, you wish for the drake you hunt then, yes? Ah. <laughs> no, that is game. I'm referring to my father. Your father? We will talk more about this. Do you agree? Um, I want to know, like, your father is a dragon? That's what you're saying, right? A devil. That happens to be a dragon. How does... Oh, did Ooh. they go into, like, this amber pod thing? Because <laughs> that's how uh. I... That's why I look like a pervert. Ah. Uh. Explains a lot then, but no. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. It's a long story. The one that I'm not willing to share right now. But, as you see, I am not... like others around. Each... Leonor Sion has its own origin. Plainer Scion. Yes. There are many names for it. Your father is a plain. Well, I am. We have different names for it. Some call Tiefling, Hellspawn, Grimspawn. The names go on and on. Fair enough. Do you not know how it's... No, I, I am made. aware. I'm aware. But the way you made it sound made it seem like they were incredibly ominous. Um. Well. When that time comes, if it ever comes, know that I will not hesitate. And if you are true indeed companions or their lack of, if you join me on this, that would be great. Or hopefully we find my brother as well but first things first enjoy the baths when do you want to leave first light yes, yes. I think first light would be good as you mm. all look up at the stars you realize just how crisp the sky is it is crisp on Galarian but there is something 
maybe a touch simultaneously off-putting and beautiful about this different perspective for all of you. The stars are the same, but they're as if you are not home anymore. They're a different place. They're a different position. You see a different perspective in the night sky. Purples and oranges. The atmosphere a little bit different here. Giving these wondrous sunsets. Do they have a night market, Arvik? <laughs> Do they have a night market? They have lots here. You are in the surface of the city. Go further in. Things you would not dream of. If you want pleasure, they are pleasure. If you want to purchase things, there are things that are unexplained. But yet, you can purchase them. Foods. Do not look at it. If it moves, just eat it. <clears throat> but. Lots of amazing things here. And also. Telling by. <clears throat> and smelling of your equipment. You may need some. More traditional clothing for going about Lost Lua. Unless you sleep in your armor. I do not wear that. Uh, anyway, yes. This is good. I wish to get supplies. Do they use any sort of currency? Or is it a bartering system? Do you know? I think that would be fun to find out on your own. Oh. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. I will go with you. I will guide you the best I can, at least to the shops that I normally go to in a tavern. Well, they don't call it a tavern. <laughs> well, let me be the first to say officially, welcome to the party, Ralevik. And I extend my hand out to you. Uh, I'll lean over and grab your forearm. I squeeze your arm to see how muscular you are and try to gauge if I could beat you in an arm wrestle. Oh, okay. Uh, perception check from uh, Arcelia. 18. Okay. Uh, what's your strength score, Malavik? Uh, 18. <laughs> You've got a nice grip there. <laughs> Yes, I do. Well, I'm glad that you'll be helping us. Hmm. Should we go to the pleasure house? No. I do warn you, the pleasure house is of statues, books, paintings. Yes, I would like to go there. Oh, oh, yes, absolutely. I had what a different idea thinking? in my mind. Uh, yeah, not what is pleasurable? It? No, they're very pleasurable. I love books. Not oh. reading. We were thinking something like a brothel, probably. Oh, yes. not in this city. I don't believe I haven't seen one, but that does not mean that the scholars do not have their fun. This pleasure house sounds very fun. It's very pleasurable. Nice scents, smells. They even give you a little incense when you walk in. <laughs> Calming atmosphere. Hmm. All right, I'll stand up in all my glory and uh, walk out, uh, sl slithering my tail back and forth to get water off and uh, walk up to the front counter and speak to the uh, greeters there and uh, I imagine they don't have the any for the baths yeah oh. they just yeah it's kind of just communal and people okay. take care of it then I will it's a little bit like I imagine uh, 
it is with Japanese culture and how they mm, just mm, want the place onsen. to be clean. So they just right. will clean it themselves, you know? It's just everybody's yeah. responsibility to make sure the place is clean because nobody wants to leave it a mess and return it to, to, to it as a mess. Yeah, so I'll just throw my old towels in the, in the bin that they have sorted on the side and uh, pick up my complimentary mints of sorts and um, pick, uh, pick up my armor, which is filthy, and um, okay, going to on, probably... Shilbert. You can stop floating around now. It lo you look adorable, but we have things to do. Do you want to come with us, or do you just want to... I, I'm going to make the choice for you, Hubert. You're going to come with us, okay? Come on. Just float over here. Uh, let's uh, get dressed and make our way then. Yes. <laughs> and we do just that. Sure. Leaving the baths, you are immediately greeted by... People asking a million questions in Sylvan, um, various things like, where are you from? Uh, why do you look like that? Um, I don't mean it that way. I mean it how you look that way. Are you an actual lizard? Are you, you know, like, are you part dinosaur? Um, you know, <laughs> questions like that. Like, uh, do you also study astrology? Do you like the stars? Where, what do the stars look like where you're from? Oh, wait, they're the same stars. Stuff like that, you know, like, and you, and who, the only people that speak Sylvan here is a Rosh talk and Arcelia, do you speak Sylvan or no? No. Okay. Just so, me. Yeah. So a Rosh talk, you're only picking up bits here and there. Lots of stupid questions. I'm answering most of them as best I can while I clean our clothing. Um. I will be a little bit further on than you guys. And what you would see is probably a different side of Malavik. Uh, there's, I would assume, are there any kids here? Um, not too many, actually. Okay. There'd probably be very um, few. Yeah, you would probably see him picking up children and they're playing with his horns and he's like laughing and, and bending over and talking to them and uh, Letting them pull on his tail and all kinds of stuff off in the distance, just yeah. being there. There would a, be very few, very few kids here because yeah. um, people travel here typically. And, and roll a um, let's see, Malavik. I'm gonna say you can either roll your lore for this place or a. Diplomacy check or a society check? Mm. Okay, I'm just rolling int. <laughs> I need to make sure I make that lore. I have legal lore. Uh, let's see. Would it, be, would it be. Oh, I'm not trained in it, you said. Correct. 17. Um. I think that's enough to know that people here from Los Kialua are not native to Los Kialua. There are many Ayudara scattered through Sovirian, which is where they come from. Various mm. places around the continent of Sovirian. Yeah, so I guess with the kids that the few kids that I that he that you would see Malavik will be talking with him play with. he's just kind of taking it and he's I'm no longer um appalled by questions or people coming up to me anymore since I've been here for so long um it's just like I know how to move my way through the crowds while still being polite okay yes. you come across a like, um what appears to be, uh, again, most of these buildings are kind of um, cylindrically shaped. Um, they have arch doors, uh, domed roofs, and there are many large telescopes making their way from many of the roofs. Um, and you, uh, you are heading to this um, 
th this place that Malavik uh, suggested first? Is that where you're going? Mm -hmm. Indeed. Okay. The Pleasure House, uh, which does not translate to Pleasure House, by the way. Um, it's probably a place of learning, mm -hmm. uh, which is probably, you catch that, uh, Arash talk? Just like a mistranslation. Uh, this, that says place of learning, Malefic, not pleasure. I'm still working on my... That, that makes a lot more sense. Yes. But it's still pleasurable when you walk in, you'll see the moment you go in, it's refreshing and... I just walk in in sheer embarrassment, but to, <laughs> to me, it's still pleasurable. So walking in, uh, it's a pretty confined space. Um, they have, uh, obviously the crowd has sort of dimmed down because people know to be quiet here. Um, it's uh, a sort of very, very tightly spaced, um, and it's similar to a library. There's books, and there's a lot of scrolls and maps. You see lots of astrology-related um, items here, for sure. There's a lot of beautifully illustrated maps, lots of notes and details and things, lots of uh, the smell of parchment and ink in here. Someone uh, begins to approach, uh, a bit wide-eyed. They begin speaking in Sylvan. Uh, welcome to the place of learning. Pleasure house. <laughs> Thank ask, you. Ask them if we can have a look around. May we uh, look? Read. It's a very, um, a very, very, very skinny, um, woman. She's got very thin hair. Um, it's sort of, uh, I think really long and, um, to the point where it's probably a hindrance to their everyday existence. Um, and, um, she has sort of a yellow tinge to the uh, to to her eyes. Um, there's a, a sort of a yellow sclera and fills up the the entirety of, of her eyes. Um, she has um, blue, sort of very light looking, airy clothing, um, and long sleeves, and. She's just sort of staring. You, you, you speak our language. A different uh, dialect uh, version. Similar. Um, that you speak well. My name is uh, uh, Tabia. Oh, Tabia. Uh, Tabia. Tabia. Uh, Rostok, Arsiria, Yara. Malavik. Yes. Uh, Hello. Kar Tabia. She's smiling, S staring like a little too long at Malavik. Hmm. Uh, Kar is Karun even here? She's probably faded into the shadows again. She was quite embarrassed about earlier. With the <sighs> small one. Uh, yeah, yeah, Hubert is uh, probably Running with away. Karun. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just they're, they're like in the shed. No, I'm here. Uh, sorry, you can't see me again. <laughs> I've got like built in camouflage now. You are the knight. I am the knight. Uh, Karun and uh, Hubert. 
Ka Karun Hubert I uh, May we uh, look and read? Yes, but you cannot take anything uh. and no fire and if you need and she holds up a what looks to be like a magical lamp ah, oh I cast light on my staff mm. ah. oh <laughs> careful uh, randomly cast some magics here in oh. general uh, without warning uh, sorry uh, not fire uh, yes uh, uh, the lamp will do Ah, I snuff it out. Uh, no fire. We cannot take anything out. Uh, the lamp will suffice. Uh, but they said we can. Go uh, yes, ahead. we can look and read. <laughs> I step off and get lost uh, in the sauce. Uh, ah, uh, you, I think uh, you said that there were indeed paintings and other things here. Yes, mm-hmm. that I saw. A lot of illustrations of um, ast- astrological things, planets, and um, uh, there's probably a rendition of, of Gal- what Galarian looks like from a distance, you know, through their uh, telescopes. Do, do you buy, purchase, uh, artwork? Uh, artwork? Uh, pa- I point it. Painting. Show her. Uh, I pull out my bag of holding and pull out one of the 15 paintings from the, uh, <laughs> uh, the Chronicler. Chronicler, yes. Yeah, uh, okay. Give me a, um, let's say this is probably a diplomacy. Not society. Oh, God. Let them know. <laughs> limited edition. They may be dead. May not have any more paintings. I wish I could help you, but I don't speak Sylvan. Uh, yes, um, I very quickly and quietly put guidance upon myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm re-rolling that. Nope, okay. that's going to be a uh, second hero, hero point. point. Yes, oh, I had okay. three. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a nine. <laughs> it's a nine. Okay. A little better. Yeah. Um, uh, n- not, not here. Uh, um, there is an art collector. Um, I'm trying to remember their name. Um, other side of Las Kialua. Um, uh, Kaliat? Ka- Kaliat. Kal- Kaliat? I look to Malefic. Kaliat. Uh, uh, I don't think painting. you know them. Uh, I just repeat what they say. Uh, yeah. uh, mm. uh, other side of the town, a uh, person who will purchase art. Ah. Mm. That is fine. We have lots to look at. Lots of time. Thank you. You are welcome. And I kind of jog off, excited, looking for uh, art. I've taken the lantern and left you two. Mm. See, pleasurable. Pleasure house. Everyone seems pleased when they come here. I mean, it works. So I love learning as well. So D- do you read? Yes. I read tracks, scars, remnants of battle. Hmm. Some runes. Is that what you mean? No, but have you ever heard someone read in Necril or Verisian? Hmm. I could translate. It could be fun. I knew of a Varisian. I killed him. Ah. 
They did scream out lots of words. Next Perhaps time we come across, next time we come across a Varisian and I kill another, you can translate for me. Certainly. That will be great. All right, let's go join them. Come, come. No. Uh, I'll uh pull my tail up and like kind of like make myself as small as possible to squeeze through and uh, make sure I don't want to knock anything over. You'll notice that I am very careful around everyone here. Uh, do not want to upset or disturb. Have you, where are you from? You look quite different than everyone. Well, um, I was born one place and then I just traveled the entirety of my life, so it doesn't Trouble. really matter, I suppose. Um, Using Iodora. No, no, I haven't. I mean, well, I did obviously go through the Iodara, but I was not um, traveling uh, using those. I traveled a lot with my sister. We were um, mm. born in Druma. Um, but we lost our parents quite young, so my, uh, my sister and I, we were thick as thieves, as they say. Mm. I do not see your sister here. Or maybe I missed them. No, no, um, she's not with me. Has been for quite some time, actually. You have lost her. You could say that. Then we shall find her, as well as my brother. Certainly. Good. Then we have found our reason for us to travel together. Yes? Yes. Good. I will find your sister. We will rejoice on both of our siblings can finally meet each other and talk and rejoice in the ways of being with people that they care about and those that care about them. Certainly. Good. <laughs> so shall we go stuff our nose in books and I'll read things in creepy languages for you? Necro's pretty creepy. If you must, I will listen. I don't know much about this necro. Then I suppose you'll find out. Much like I'll find out whether or not they take my money or my items here, huh? <laughs> Lead on. <laughs> Very good. And I will rejoin the others uh, in plundering the bookshelves. Very well. You adjourn to the shop to investigate various things about this place of learning. And that's a good place for us to take a break. We'll be back in just a little bit. If you haven't checked it out, check out Table Story's new merch store, merch.tablestory.tv. We'll be back in just a little bit. A new day shines through the windows here in Las Kialua. Our party has received a full night's rest as many of them investigated uh, the various bits of literature and star charts and things that they could read. Um, those that were up late reading, uh, each of you can make a... I'm going to say this is probably either Arcana, Occultism. Uh, 
esoteric. Yep, you can do that. And for the physicus guide, would that also still fall under Arcana, or would I be able to roll some sort of a medicine check? Uh, that should be a medicine check. Beautiful. All right. Mm. I was I would acting like, to like I was that. reading. <laughs> <laughs> Books like upside down. Oh, yeah, uh, I wanted to fit in. Mm. Uh, okay. Um, Arash talk. Um, yes. You learn a little bit about some of the purpose of the people here, the Awantia. Um, in that um, they're very, very interested in the stars and the solar system and what is beyond the solar system and if they can ever leave the solar system and and, and venture forth they're, they're curious minds here these people are very interested in what is beyond everyone's scope at the moment they're curious they're learned and they wish to know more and they know. There is that excited bit of information that you might come across, notes here and there amongst books and charts um, with excited discoveries about stars and um, you can see a chart of the planets um, that you share with um, Arcelia the rest of the group. Star chart of solar system. Planets. Ooh. And you see where Castrovel is and Galarian. Galarian is the third planet from the sun. And I'll read these out for our podcast listeners as well. The sun, Abalon the horse, the first planet, Castrovel the green, the second, Galarian the third, Akaton the red, the fourth planet, Verses the line, the fifth, Diaspora in between verses and Aox the dead. Aox the dead, the sixth planet. Triaxis the wanderer, seventh. Leavara the dreamer. Ertheta the cradle. Aposte the messenger. And Octurn the stranger. You marvel at the acknowledgement, I think, for some of you, of all of these planets that exist and what could be strange creatures that you've never seen before, much like this place, whole worlds that you know nothing about, and that Galarian is not even close to the biggest planet. In kind the of makes system. our problems feel so small, doesn't it? <laughs> much out there. Hmm. Uh, Yara, your medicine check uh, to the Physicer's Guide um, doesn't tell you too much more than you already know, I think. It's a lot of repeated information, stuff that you kind of know about elven physiology. Uh, Malavik, you do a decent enough job looking like you were very interested in these books. Mm. Mm. Yes, indeed. This is quite interesting. I hold it up and the picture's upside down. Um, I reach over and fix it for you. It, w- it was a test. 
you passed. Good. Oh. Yeah, and I walk off and uh, put my face in a book, but it's like this close to it. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. So you've all had a good night's sleep. You've read a bit about uh, Castrovel. It's definitely not enough time to really get anything. It's that situation where you've had a really long day and you read a book at the end, so you probably fall asleep pretty easily. It's a very physical day, making your way through the jungle and into a new place. You had your first really good bath in a very long time, and you probably passed out without any real hesitation. Uh, and just to be clear, I would have probably treated everyone's wounds throughout it with my uh, supplies that I've found and uh, continual recovery. Sure. Um, however, Malavik, do me a favor. Mm. Yes. I would like you to please make a will save. 21. Alrighty. Thank you. Next day has come upon you. <laughs> it's us- it's very quiet here in Las Kialua in the morning. There's a lot of people awake at night, surprisingly. You re- you fell asleep early and you had no problems though. Everybody slept very well through the night. And there's not much going on here in the morning. There's a few people around, a lot of people yawning and such, but everyone here is interested in the stars and the sky. These scholars are astrologers. They want to... Astronomers, I should say. Sorry. I said that for like the third time. Um, Astronomers, and they are very interested in what is beyond. And... There's people milling about. There's people that have started their day that have their jobs and stuff, but uh, it's quiet here in the mornings. In comparison, you're not mobbed immediately. I'll just be getting ready. I'll be, I would have been up at the exact point of light, planning uh, my armor and stuff, and... Uh, Walking out from where we stayed to the front, I just kind of like watching uh, the scholars go about there, starting their day and stuff. And I would be just waiting for everyone outside. I would join probably one of one of the first, I think. Nastulia, are you feeling up to? Uh... Trying and go finding ourselves a plant? Yes, uh, I had a little bit of trouble sleeping, itching. It's quite bad. Well, I should have some ointments now that I've resupplied, so... And I'll rifle through my bag and I will go ahead and I will, uh, produce a salve. Go ahead and try and put this on. Oh, all all right. Is Is it on your back? No, it's on my chest. Right. Yes, any time you feel uh, any itching, uh, feel free to go ahead and try and use this. All right, thank you. Right. Shall uh, we go find the others? Yes. Mm. Very good. They should be outside, I believe. Hopefully, unless they've left us to our demise. In this place, that wouldn't be too terrible. Ooh, but what if all the scholars are, like, secretly evil? Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, I could write or all about it to my perverts. Oh. Suddenly behind you, Karun emerges from the shadows. You would know about that, wouldn't you? You little yeah, pervert, you. I am a pervert now. You scared me. <sighs> well, it's part of, you know, my whole body now. I can't really get around it, apparently. So I figured I'd lean into it, you know? Go full mm. perv. 
Might as well. So, um, are we? What what did we decide we're doing today? Are we going to like, you know, fix the allergy thing? Are we going to, yes. you know, yeah. go like talk to the cash? So, before we do anything involving the cash, we are going to retrieve a map uh, that has the location marked where we might find such a plant. And then, we're going to go ahead and get that plant, and when we get back, we'll see what time it is. Okay. I tried to convince Hubert to come with us, but he, he said that the jungle is too dangerous, and he doesn't mm -hmm. want to go back there. He started thinking that he might start talking to some of the people here and see if he can make a farm or something. <laughs> That's fair. Really? You think it's fair? I you don't mean... don't think it's, like, really cruel that he would do that and, like, you know, forget about us and forget about me? And... Okay. I reach forward and put a hand on... Current shoulder, trust me, no one will ever forget you. Oh, that's very nice. I think. Cupid is just trying to start a homestead so. in order to support you. Oh, you think so? No, I don't think so. I was just trying to make you feel better. Well, at least you were honest about it. Are you implying that I wasn't being honest? No. I was suggesting that, you know, um, I'm not exactly, you know, up to my full elven stature, you know, so they probably don't look at me like one of their own now, you know, like that I'm some kind of weird pervert and not really like, like, a, like I belong here anymore. What a terrible place this would be if everyone was the same and incredibly boring. You are perfect the way you are. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you. I give a pat on Karun's back. Plus, there's nothing wrong with being a pervert. All right, let's go find the others. And I walk off. Ah, there they are. Rush talk. Eh? Oh, good morning. Malavik? Yeah. Hello. Sleep well. Relatively. Well, we should be able to find your cure soon. If we leave, we can possibly, um, make it back by tomorrow. Uh. If we're lucky. Before that, uh, we need to get some supplies. I do not want to be uh, left in the lurch, I think is the phrase. So, would you like to find this person to sell the paintings to? Yes, that, your... that is the goal, and then I can on the way back quickly grab a few potions and things. All right. Well, then I suppose we should get a move on. Um, uh, it's on the other side of Lost Lua, you said, yes? That is what I was told. Uh, Caliot is the Caliot, name. Caliot, yes, was the name of the art uh, um, seller, purchaser. Cabia would have told you um, that the place is called Caliat's Curated Collectibles. I'd probably ask whoever I see first. The one who's staring the most, I think. It's just... Where is Caliot's uh, collectible curios? You speak of Caliot's curated collectibles? Curated, yes. Yes. Uh, they are... Um, if you follow the road there... And 
Um, it is one, two, three, four, five side roads down on the right. Very good, thank you. You are welcome. Are you a dinosaur? Uh, no, lizard folk. More lizard reptilian, folk. yes. Do you molt? Uh, yes, actually. How often? Mm -hmm. Usually mm, once in the spring and once in the fall. Is it painful? No. Do your eyes bleed? No, that would be painful. Mm -hmm. Take out a little notebook and start writing these things down. I try to peek. You just see Sylvan writing, you know? I, I can't read Sylvan, yep. but I look impressed. Uh-huh. Hmm. I'm probably walking and talking if they're just, like, tagging along. Yeah, they're just <laughs> decided to follow along and keep asking <laughs> questions. I As answer them, I do not mind. <laughs> How fast can you run? Uh, not as fast as many, though I swim well. How fast can you swim? Oh. If I... I do some math as best I can and figure out it's... Eh, like a few miles an hour or whatever the meters per second equivalent is. Right? Mm hmm Not all of us can. It's... Uh, I show my webbed hands. Mm. It is but my tribe's feature. Ah, so there are different tribes where you are from. Yes. It's all in Sylvan, so... <laughs> It's in my own little... I love this. <laughs> Arcelia is smiling. I can't hear or understand your the words. Imagine but... a random stranger just asking you all these questions, following you where you're going, and, like, taking notes. This is what this person is doing right now. As you're making your way. I suppose it's just smiling and look pretty. Yep. Well, our Ashtok doesn't look like he's in distress, so mm. let him have a moment. I think that's the place. You see a rather overblown looking exterior. Uh, it is a very different building than most of the other buildings that you've seen here in Las Kealua. They're very understated. Uh, this is not. This is very colorful and gaudy. And you can see... Um, Lots of different kinds of art making uh, its way through the windows. Um, again, this is a cylindrical sort of building. Um, the windows are uh, well kept. You can see that there are lots of different kinds of pieces of art. There are paintings, there are sculptures, there are um, pieces of metalwork and things that you can see. Um, and it has a sort of ostentatious door uh, in the front, brightly colored, and again, very much stands out from the rest of the buildings here in Las Kialua. Mm. I thank you for your time. Oh, are we done then? Oh. I, I need to uh, uh, sell. Sell. Uh, 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 paintings. Oh, okay. Some paintings. Well, oh. if you want to answer any more questions, I'll, I'll be in the square, back where you found me. I may ask you questions next time. Intriguing. Very intriguing mind. Interesting. Uh, uh. Do you ask a lot of questions to everyone? Malefic walks in the door. <laughs> I would follow immediately. It's, it's, I wait probably, outside. It, it, yes, sometimes if I wish to learn of a culture like yours. Rostock! Uh, oh, uh, yes, 
Coming! Uh, apologies, I must join my companions. Yes, of course. Do you find that most of your society is tribal in nature? No, there are many uh, cults. Uh, I, I would keep talking until someone pulls me away. <laughs> oh, no. Because <laughs> I see that you're having a great time. I'm just standing there. Mm. Yara and Malavik have made their way inside already. <laughs> I step outside. Cross talk. Huh? Huh? Come. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Either sorry. that or give me your back. Do you, can you speak with them? No. So we need you. Please. Don't worry. I can speak with him. I'll get you your your deeds. Grab the bag and let's go. Uh, I have uh, paintings. Take a, take a hero uh, point, Malavik. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I do. I I apologize to my new friend, and I do have to go. And I bow and begin to walk away. I mean, I, I could do it for you. You can continue your conversation. I mean, he's perfectly capable from what I could tell. Yes, you I can. May do, yes, I read a book. Again. I read a book last night about this. I can do this. It, it, was it a pleasure book? It was in a pleasure place. There were many pictures uh, from what I could tell. That yes. was a jo- oh. Uh, 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 I walk into the Shop. I don't know that's open yet. I'll you ponder close on the that. door behind us. Yes. You make your way into this uh, shop. It, it's probably only just opened. Um, and you can see uh, someone sort of like straightening some paintings on, um, on a setting up a display. Um, there's some, uh, some canvas that's down, like as a tarp, um, just to make sure. Um, nothing gets scuffed inside. You can see um, uh, what appears to be a very luxurious sort of store. Um, this is, again, very atypical uh, from Las Gialua. You haven't seen really anything like this place. There's lots of... Uh, it's got that costume jewelry feel, right? Um and you walk in, you see lots of strange pieces of artwork. Uh, there's very weird sculptures. It's kind of like walking into one of those eras of art history that just confuses everyone and doesn't really make any sense. Um, and only the art critics really know what everything's about. Um, and you kind of... You make your way inside, and there's just really abstract paintings and, and such. Um, and you see this person who you assume to be a proprietor um, with uh, a very well-coiffed um, uh, haircut uh, that is styled in a very strange fashion. Uh, a lot of the elves that you see kind of like keep the hair out of their way. A lot of it, you know, they put it up, they keep it off to the side. They're scholars, they're trying to do work. They're not really interested too much in, um, beyond some basic needs, aren't interested too much in like how their hair looks. A lot of them are just trying to do their jobs from what you can tell. And here, this person has decided to do some kind of asymmetrical kind of updo uh, situation that's happening. Um, it's early in the morning, too, and this would be something that you would see maybe at some kind of party or something, right? Uh, they are wearing very um, bright and colorful robes uh, as you enter uh, with some, like, bright reds and yellows and some purples. And as you turn, you see this man um, who is wearing quite a bit of makeup um, turn towards you with uh, long eyelashes, and he says, Oh, welcome. Welcome. And this is all in Sylvan as well. You must be the visitors that everyone is talking about. Yes, we are. I am Kaliat, 
And this is my humble shop. It is nice. Uh, my companions, they do not uh, speak the language. Oh, that is unfortunate. I was hoping to speak with all of you. I can uh, do my best to translate. He begins to look you all up and down. Making his way. Yep, making his way through. Hmm. And your names? Ah, uh, uh, Rostock. Uh, Kar Karun is somewhere. Uh, what? I heard uh, my name. And uh, uh, there, uh, Yara and Arcelia. And I believe you know Malavik. I do not know this person. Malavik. Ah. Yes, Malavik. Oh, you were the first to arrive mm. from Galarian, was it? Galarian. Yes, See, I speak too. I, I understand. Do Speaking you? Speaking out words. That Galarian. is wonderful. Yes. Smell he, the nod. He speaks Malavik, very Galarian. Little. I start having a conversation in the background with Yara because I don't understand anything that's being said right mm -hmm. now. I'm like, this is this is a nice place. Yes, the paintings are quite lovely. Hmm. Definitely did not expect to find something like this in a jungle. Is that some sort of chimera? Oh. I see your friends are interested in that painting over there. Uh, perhaps, uh, but that uh, they are very curious. Uh, I, I have uh, paintings uh, from the first world. Make a... Oh boy. I'm de so I'm debating if this is an intimidation check. Um, oh, I'm not trying to. <laughs> no. Um, what about society? <laughs> I know you're really trying for that society. Uh, I am, Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> it's, it's not helpful here. Um, yeah, recall knowledge, subsist. I don't think that's going to help you. Um, let's see. Uh, Arcana? Or occultism? I do not know. Um, I think this is you trying to make an impression. I am, yes. This is Does diplomacy. it help if I stand behind a rash tack and I do the thing where I put my arms underneath my massive tits and make them... Ah, uh, yes. Titplomacy. <laughs> yeah. Does that help? I think that helps. I'll do I'm green. green. I'm I mean, green. It usually does. <laughs> I'm so tall and green. You can't <laughs> miss them. I'm like a backup dancer with my jugs up. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you're making the help action, uh, you can um, you can also roll diplomacy here. Okay, seventeen. A rosh talk. Ah, yeah, so I am rolling diplomacy. That yep. was the decision. Very good. I. Quietly put guidance upon myself for the plus one that I desperately need for 13. Mm -hmm. uh, well, making it a 14 because of Arcelia's assistance. Um, uh, thank you. And uh, yeah, Kaliat says, the first world. Amazing. Yes. I must see them. Please show mm -hmm. me. Yes. Where are yeah. they? Are they outside? And begins to rush over to the door. No, no, here. Yeah. Is there some kind of cart or something? I... No, here. And I open the bag of holding and pull the first one out. Oh. I... What is that little uh, pouch that you have? A bag of... Uh, um... Uh, I'm trying to find the... 
<gasps> storage? Plain, planar yeah. storage. Yeah. I've heard of yeah. such things. Yes, uh, holding. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. <gasps> oh, look at these. I have many I do not wish to keep, but would like to sell them. I'd be willing to purchase them. <gasps> or... And there's a smile that slowly spreads. It's like the Grinch smile. It's the Jim Carrey Grinch is like goes up way too high. Um, or uh, uh, or we can barter. What do you have for barter? I have fifteen of these paintings. Do you think it worked, Arcelia? I don't know. It's really hard to tell how Arashtak's feeling sometimes. They don't have eyebrows. I mean, that one's kind of smiling. Sort of. You know, I think that one's a pervert. That one's a pervert? I mean, look at that smile. That is a I... pretty perverted smile, yes. I glance back at you too, like... Yes. Kaliant begins to uh, spin around uh, his shop and says in song I'm so sorry for this in the heart of the city there's a place we all adore where Kaliat's dreams come alive he's got so much in store with a passion for art that's boundless he's a sight to see at Kaliat's curated collectibles it's where he wants to be oh Kaliat's curated collectibles a treasure a trove so grand every piece of art he finds he holds it in his hands he's got excitement in his eyes as he shares his artful view come on down and join the crowd there's so much here to do and he just starts going off on this crazy musical number as you all watch this experience as he's twirling picking up paintings and lifting sculptures and dancing with them I'll pick him up and like when it sounds like he's going to a crescendo I'll like hold him, hold him up from sculptures cry. made of marble to paintings rich with hue at Caliat's there's a masterpiece that's just right for you and he boops your nose he'll tell you stories of each piece its history and more his enthusiasm's contagious it'll leave you wanting more oh Caliat's curated collectibles a treasure trove so grand every piece of art he finds he holds it in his hands he's got excitement in his eyes as he shares his artful view come on down and join the crowd there's so much here to do and he's like ready to go on and you guys are just like okay uh, shut up yes. He's uh, singing about this location and people is there that are in no, no danger. He is very happy to sing about his shop. Oh. I start dancing with him. I'm... We'll wait outside. It goes on. Do not know what's happening. It goes on. There's... Perhaps we cut him off? I, I do not... I leave. I do not think that is wise for bargaining. And I sit and wait patiently oh, for the oh. entirety of the song. What if I, what if I like if throw every myself on the stroke ground? of genius. I, I pretend to be hurt. No, no, Kelly let him finish. Got a way to make the art world come alive with a spark. He's a collector with a vision. A curator so divine. 
Galliats, the world of art is an endless, thrilling. I'll be waiting outside. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, Do you think he's done yet? Oh, I'm getting tired. I am waiting <laughs> patiently. Uh, just standing there. <laughs> sure. How long does it go on oh, for? Oh, it goes on for a while. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I sit down exhausted. Go, <laughs> go where? Oh. We have to go find the medicine and everything. Right, right, yes, that was the point, huh? Kaliat! Uh, at Kaliat, you'll find your muse and let your creativity grow! <clears throat> oh. I apologize, my. <clears throat> Companions uh, need to make haste uh, for an adventure. So, what you're saying is, you don't want to hear the eighth verse. Oh, I enjoyed it very much. Well, uh, I think we need to check for that. Uh, 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 Admittedly, I did. I just... <laughs> uh, diplomacy check will work. <laughs> That's a Unfortunately, one. even if I'm not lying, I am very hard to read. No eyebrows. Well, we can stop there. Fine. It was very good. Should I bring he, up the flute? Did or, he not believe me? Why is he crying? What did you I do? I said it was time? good. I, I said it was good. Yes, of course. I went really appreciates the efforts that I've gone through with the songs. Can I I pat pat the guy on the shoulder. What is going on? I, I go out and come back in to see if you, you were done, he and now everyone's weeping. crying. Yeah, I think he was moved by the music. Oh. Well, I will say that um, we lost a lot of time off of our travel. Mm. I mentioned that we needed to head out soon, and he began to weep. No. Oh. Have you uh, shown them the paintings yet? I did. Uh, you said you wish to barter, uh, Galliat. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I, I, we can. I could trade you some of these uh, wonderful paintings, the sculptures. Ah, uh, for some of yours. I apologize. I. Uh, Your collection. So you, when you return. Right. To, to Galarian, you... Maybe a bit, but we do need supplies to survive the wilds. Oh, well, I don't sell those here. I... Uh, I, I am aware that is why I wish to come sell these artwork pieces. What you're saying is you want gold? Yes. Are you sure? I am less so now. What I'm offering you here is... Art. True. <laughs> art. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, true art does not protect us from a drake, though it is very nice art. <sighs> I suppose I'd be willing to purchase the paintings with gold? A sculpture would be nice, though, for my own personal collection. Gold and a sculpture? Pat you on the back. Now that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I think he is happy again. Mm. Oh, good. 
So I pull out all fifteen of them. You pull out like the first two or whatever. He's nodding, and then you like keep pulling out more paintings, and he's looks more and more surprised with each painting that comes out. Oh, there's more. The, these are from the one called the Chronicler. They depict the life of a being uh, named Kanipo the Slim, a ruler of the first world. I'm saying this idly while I pull them out. They are priceless. Ooh, make another uh, diplomacy check or deception check. Or I believe performance. They are all zero. Uh, <laughs> boy, oh boy, I bet we wish that one of us had... I wish you all could speak Sylvan too. Yeah. This is my worst. Oh. I am not meant to speak with others. <laughs> Ooh. I wish you could use my plus eight diplomacy. Oh, yeah, plus nine oh. in performance. I have a plus zero. I have a negative one in all of those. It's okay. <laughs> I'm marginally better. Okay. Um, so. Uh, after laying a collection, you say? Yes, you can see, and I'm pointing out, like, roughly what the collect, uh, the chronicle had said of the, the step-by-step, -step, uh, of the story. And is this chronicler famous from this, f from the first world? I, I do believe it's not exactly so. a specialty. I think so. Uh, the... Ruler specifically brought them on for notating their lives. They had a whole library and gallery they took these from. Hmm. Like the brush strokes here. I don't really understand what's happening in the painting, but it's very dark. I think this was what they said was when they were imprisoned in the first world, and this is when they broke free. Mm. They were looking for an heir to take over. Uh, hence the two duality, though they did not ever receive an heir. Hmm. I know if this will sell very well here, but it is possible, I suppose. Um. Uh, do they still move slightly? They were magically animated a bit. Um. Wondering if they work outside of the first world or not. Yeah, so. It's slight and not very noticeable until you point it out. And that's what I... Do you see they have a magic to them? They move, depicting some of the scenery and what its intent was. Oh! Magnificent. This dark, tragic story. Oh, this hatred. I feel the hatred here. Oh, he's a very angry. <gasps> was. What do you mean was? We had to slay them as we were imprisoned ourselves by this creature. No more of these paintings will ever exist. Perhaps I might be persuaded to buy them. Um, what is your currency? Uh, I hold out one of the gold and the silver coins from my pouch. Hmm. And you can see him, like, looking at it. It's different. He takes out a gold piece of his own, sort of weighs them. Mm, about the same. All right. Um, I 
He is deciding the amount of gold. Going coming. back and forth through each painting, looking at each. Looks at you out of the corner of his eye. 50 no. gold pieces. For each? No, the whole lot. Uh, that. I'd like to make a crafting check. Because that would, I think, help with my knowledge of their worth, yes? Uh, let's check. Recall knowledge. Uh, earn income. I will take a crafting check, sure. Fifteen. Now, art is pretty subjective. Um, <clears throat> somebody's got to buy it. It's tough to say exactly how much any of this stuff is worth, but you can say you can see that it was. It's it's a very interesting set, and it is different than everything this person has here. It's most likely worth more. Ah, uh, that barely gets us any supplies and nothing you have is like this nothing moves with magic 100 gold pieces I, I I begin to start to take them back and put them away uh I need a I need a check for this this is a, yep. a deception what if I'm or... helping him put them away you can definitely help uh, Very good. So a deception check or a performance check. Oh, we're leaving. Beautiful. I'll perform. That feels right here. It's, it's the same terribleness regardless. Ah. <laughs> I'll use my hero point, my final one. I feel it is worth it here. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I put oh them away. God. I don't understand the bartering problem yep. here. You start That's to put them one. away. 100 gold pieces is more than fair. I plus, buy enough plus this sculpture here points to an abstract sculpture. You can't tell what the fuck it is. <laughs> Does I it just... look like a cat? No. <laughs> <laughs> With all my failed roll, I don't understand the value in her. Uh, sorry, I don't think that is good. And put them away. <laughs> okay. Start to put them I away. apologize. No, oh, I understand so many here are culturally obtuse. I don't pick up the word obtuse. <laughs> uh... My culture is not that large. There aren't too many of us. Have a wonderful day. Uh, you as well. Uh, as it looks like our Ash talk is finishing up business here, I pull out Leiko's mask. Uh, Leiko's mask. Yes. Leiko's mask. And okay. I look to Malavik and I say, Mm -hmm. Could you sell this for me? Easily. I walk up and I'm like, <clears throat> This face ripped off body. Good for a business. Sale. Make an intimidation face check. ripped off. I look aghast. <laughs> <laughs> Mask. See. Mask. <laughs> I don't understand what he's saying, and so I'm just like, face. Um. Uh, yeah. And I point to Arcelia, ripped off. Ah! Ah! Mask. Ah! He's a, it's excited. He's it, they are excited for you. Mask. Your... <laughs> no. Mask. Perhaps we should I say just leave. In and the... Mask. Oh. Ah. Um, mask. Use 
ripped off face. No. As a mask. Take I like it. my face. No, don't rip off my face. Why is he not bye? Bye. You know. He spent time here. Please. Leave. Now put it, I put I it down. Motioned. And then I say, and I try to flip around and put it on him. But where? <laughs> where is <laughs> it? No. It's excited. No, he is terrified. Oh. You said he. You he starts said to run. To he runs. He runs it, into oh. the back. I've seen this he before. Pulls he's down, going to get... He pulls down like an art display, like to cover no. his tracks behind he's getting, him. No, he, he's getting more money. Uh, more you gold. said he, she ripped Let's get out of the shop. We need to fucking go. But I'm not done. I want more, more, more Let's gold. Go. No, I, I like, pulled out. It just, you told him that she ripped off a face, <laughs> and you were trying to put a face on him. But I said mask. You take another hero no. point, by the way, Malavik. That was great. <laughs> Can I give that away? I'm at three. <laughs> yes. Sure. All right, Rostock, you need it. Go for I it. Do, thank you. I, uh, you told him the face was ripped off, and you were trying to shove oh, the face on him. I, I, my, my. That was cruel. I learned. Oh. Walk and talk. Walk and talk. I'm corralling them out of the shop. I, I, okay. I think he undervalued the paintings I have, but I have no idea by how much. I'll hand the uh, mask, and I'll say it in the Sylvan tongue, m mask. To yeah, uh, our mask. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not face. Thank you for trying. I appreciate it. I'm still learning. Uh, I'll Lewin. I am, I am not good at bartering. Well, that I can help with offer. that later. Uh, One hundred gold. That seemed wrong, but it is crafted better and more uniquely, but I, I do not know by how much. Perhaps the coin is worthless. Mm. It seemed equal-ish. Oh. He said it was Roughly the same weight, and it looked that. Well, how about this? I will buy us some potions, and uh, whatever I give out to you, you just pay me back later or something. It doesn't matter. We're all sharing funds anyhow. So, hmm. what if I you have... sell paintings to them um, as an apology and get a hundred no. gold? I oh. do not wish to have... Would you like me to do it since you put it up? No, he will not I... buy them from you. He is horrified of you. But the scream sounded more like excitement. No. no. When no, I no, killed someone... it was someone, abject this... fear. Oh, okay. You told him a face was ripped off. How is that <laughs> elation? I thought the words were similar. No. Rostock okay. says this with no eyebrows or no like no, no expression in his face at all. Terror. I, I think everyone did great. <laughs> Certainly. Let's go buy potions and then try and salvage the day, yes? Yes. Yes. Mm. As the crowds begin to pick up around town, you make your way through and uh, sort of do some general shopping and things. We're, we we won't have to play that. I think I felt like we had to do um, we had to do uh, Caliats because I thought it would be hilarious. Um, and it was worked, out, awesome. worked out so well for the one person that should not interact with others. Uh, I'm so happy you're the only one that knows Sylvan. It's great. I um, meant well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so did I. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you begin to uh, make your way around, do various purchases and whatnot, um, which we'll do off stream. But um, uh, we can say that you spend a couple hours uh, or, or maybe a few hours doing that um, as, uh, you know, it gets it begins to get brighter midday, starts to happen. Uh, more people are about, lots of uh, inquisitive people asking about you, etc. Where are you headed next? I'm following them now. We well, should. 
by another location. Yes, let us get that map that, um, what was uh, their name? Um, Aleli? Aleli? Aleli. Aleli. Or Dr. L'Oreal, I believe, was the one that talked about the plant. So then let us go there, retrieve the map, and try and salvage what we have left in terms of daylight. Aleli for the map. L'Oreal for the details. Sounds good to me. Yes. And I'll start walking back to the... um, Aleli and uh, Genthia okay. office. All right. Um, making your way back to Aleli's home. Um, you can see that there... Uh, the, the crowd that normally sort of follows you around um, is sort of all pooled up around Aleli's home. Uh, various questions are being thrown at you. Uh, is your whole body red? Um, you know, stuff like that. You're used to asking mm. questions, answering questions, or being asked questions like that. Um, and um, everybody's kind of pooling up there, the expectation that you'll go speak with Aleli again. Here we are. Hmm. Aleli. Walking. You walk in, uh, Jenith, uh, Gentiel and Aleli have done a lot of work. You see all kinds of notes and things everywhere. Uh, they have the look of two people that have not slept. And that is why I say that this key and the difference between Malovic's key is clearly this curse. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand what the two would have to do with the other. Oh, speaking of our guests, hello. H- hello. Welcome back. Hello. 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 Uh, please give us some peace. If you could just... <sighs> she gets up. She tries to, like, close the door. There's a few people that are trying to oogle the, the group. Please just ask, save your questions for another time. Please, we have important work to do. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Lily closes the door. Yes. <sighs> Sorry. How was your night? Good. Good. Yes, thank you. Um We need a map. A map of uh the location hmm. for the plant like we discussed. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, okay. Um, it will be rough, uh, but that is okay. As long as there are landmarks, I will be able to find. All right. We can use the river, I think. Mm. Mm. The and blood river. No, d- a different river. Oh, oh thank different. the gods. Um, all right. And she starts to sketch out a map um, and uh, gives you some rough landmarks and some notes and stuff um, uh, with some measurements that you're familiar with, uh, Malavik. Um, you know, they don't have the same measurements here that they do on Galarian. Um, Mm. but you're familiar with them enough now that you can kind of convert them. Um, And you immediately can recognize some of these landmarks, Malavik. Um, You recognize... uh, I'll tell you what, roll me just a flat d20. Okay. I don't think this is any skill-related thing. I hate 
using that. I'm gonna just regularly roll it from now on. Since I have so many hero points, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use them. Might as well. Uh, you can't use it on this one. Okay, this never is just mind. A, this is a check for something else. Okay. Um, yeah, this isn't a skill check or anything. Um, so, uh, you recognize some of these landmarks. Um, one of them is an area that you remember was very dangerous. Mm. And you can make a survival check for me now. All right. Just one, two, three. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Um, there are these kinds of... Um, these, like, cat-like creatures that have these boils on them that are... They look like boils that are kind of... Uh, you just remember encountering them and and getting the hell away from there because um, mm. there were a lot of them. Mm. I'll just uh, I'll, um, ask for, I guess, a quill of some short sort or whatever that they have uh, and start marking on the map. No. I would imagine the that they actually mm. probably have pencils. Okay. I would use that. They do a lot and, uh, of sketching and things, so there'd be there'd be pencils. I'd be making notes and uh, putting like a void and drawing a skull. Um, what else? Um, that's kind of as far as you've gone in the direction that they're describing. Hmm. <laughs> Troublesome. I'll look to the group and say, "It's going to take a lot longer than I expected." We cannot go through this area here. There are feline, um, lots of them here. They are dangerous. Even I will not go into their territory. So we have to go around, which is going to take us out of the way. And I am unfamiliar with the area around. This is as far as I've gotten before. Turned around and ran a different way. Sorry, Arcidia, but he may be in discomfort for a while. It's all right. I appreciate that any effort is being made. Um, I look quite seriously to my companions. I don't want to put you in danger. That is fine. For your well-being. We are in danger if you are in danger, which you are. So, do not distress. We'll try and make this quick, and then go about getting the heck out of here, right? Right. We don't know how long we'll be waylaid, so to speak. So we need to take precautions. This is necessary. Do they have any navigators or trackers that live here in the city? Someone that could help us? Not that I know of. No one that is foolish enough to go outside. Mm. But then again, I haven't talked to many. I learn the lands I track myself. Malavik, you're, can... you're one of those people. Mm. We will be able to get your... Cura, we can also try to collect more and bring back here and possibly sell. Hmm. I think that would... That would be nice. If you leave here without your cure, there's no telling what will happen if you travel through the gate once more. Malavik, I think you also know a lot of their um, information comes from very few people that go out and adventure or through telescopes, which is, as you can imagine, very partial information, right? Like, looking through that lens, you get that strange perspective of, um, 
you know, distance being distorted and like, you know, they, they give you like rough information and it's like a lot of math, but you know what the jungle is like. It's in, in mountains. It's, it's nuts. Like trying to do anything like that without really experiencing it and knowing what the, what, mm. what, you, what kind of path to actually walk when you're in the jungle and like, oh, I have to cut down a million vines if I go this way and I have to avoid all this, um, all of these roots and, and, and whatnot uh, to try and actually walk the path is a completely different thing. So a lot of their information is rough general information mm. um, or information <laughs> that they've purchased. We can make this to our benefit. We can take this map. I've seen your gate drawing. Hmm. And we could map out the land for them as well. So look at it as if it helps. And I'm very bad at trying to relate things, but you are also helping the people of Laskia Lua along with yourself. So you do not have to put that much responsibility on yourself when there is a bigger mm, goal to it all. Mm-hmm. May have said that wrong as in face and mask. Right? No, I, I understand what you mean. Can good map out the route. Yes. And bring back whatever we discover. And you never know what else might be out there. You seem like the one that likes to discover and write about it. I do. And who on Galarian will be able to say that they visited Castrovel at the nature that you did with all of the knowledge that you bring back? <sighs> I only wish that I brought a compass. Well, you have me. That being said, um, uh, Lily, or Lele, um, yes. Could you, perchance, uh, describe the plant to us, or provide some sort of a sketch, so we know what exactly we are looking for? Yes. Um, she will uh, pull out a um, sort of alien-looking uh, flower. Uh, and you can see it's a it's a rough sketch uh, that was uh, drawn probably by the doctor. Um, and there's some notes that say like various colors and things. Can I get a nature check to uh, make it a little easier for me to keep an eye out for it? Uh, that would even be even be helpful. You yeah, I, I think that this is giving you the circumstance bonus already. Wonderful. Perfect. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Of course. Anything that will help with your a- allergy? A- allergy, yeah. I said that right. Yes? Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right. With that being said, do we need anything else, or do you believe we're good to go? Hmm. We will be exiting with the gondolas again. Prepare yourselves for whatever may happen. Very good. And this time, try not to fall off. And while I stand up um, and we begin to walk out, I'll explain to Arcelia about the gondolas and about how they work, potential dangers. Hmm. That sounds fascinating. Everyone good to go. Ready? Indeed. Ready. Now, since we sp- spent a good bit of time, how long did we spend in Las Kialua? We were supposed to leave our first light, but that didn't happen, so... It's, um, midday. Oh. We do not want to be out in the middle of nowhere in uncharted lands during night. Once dusk hits, we will have to find shelter again. This will most likely take you a day of travel, from what you can tell from the notes. 
so we have two options. We leave now, or we leave at first light. Actually, <laughs> leave at first st- light. You're gonna be staying. It's it's a night out there, at the very mm. least. It's a day of travel to get there and a day back. Right. If we leave now, we almost we will be spending two nights at the very, or more than two, I should say. Would it be wise then to just to wait until tomorrow? I don't mm. know how long this elixir is going. I to think work. we should go. Yes, we yes. should leave. Very well. And we will keep our eyes peeled, even if it is uh, earlier in our trip, um, for some sort of coverage for us for the night. Good mm. news is, from here, uh, once we leave the gondolas. It will probably be closer to dusk. It will be easier closer here, as I do not believe that the wildlife will be too close to the construction areas. And that gives us more light in the day to travel the dangerous parts. But that is up to you. I will lead you to the exit of the city. Please make sure that you have everything that you need. Indeed. And I would uh, walk, I would assume that I would have left my sword with uh, their version of um, like a, I don't want to say a storage, but I wouldn't have taken it in to the main part of the city out of respect. Um, So I would go probably pick my weapons up and um, on the rest of my armor and wait for the group to get ready. Okay. Group gets ready. Any other last minute things before you leave? Um, I simply would be purchasing three potions and giving them to, uh, one to Arcelia and one to Arashtok and keeping one on myself. Okay. I tried to have a very stilted conversation with the person in charge of the place we're staying at. Food? Ow, ow, ow. Or to go? Hungry. <laughs> yes. Please. <laughs> um, yeah, go ahead and make a uh, diplomacy check. 17. Okay. Uh, yeah, you get some rations. Uh, these people are pretty generous, uh, with a lot of the stuff. Um, play, you guys had no problem with a place to stay. They offered you a place to stay. They, uh, even gave you some food. Um, you know, uh, very welcoming. Uh, they don't really get visitors here. They're super happy to have you. Something interesting aside from their studies to, to come in. Um, as you can tell by the millions of questions that you've been asked since you've been here. Um, and, um, they're happy to give you some, some rations. Uh, nothing too crazy. I imagine that you all probably get, uh, a total of probably 10 rations, let's say. Not each, but overall. So you, you can each have two mm-hmm. more rations. Okay. Nice. Okay, rations. Profuse thank yous and gratitude and hugging them. And uh, I meet up with my companions. All right. <sighs> Back out into the expense. And I'll uh, lead them to the gondolas and wait for one to approach. Um, while I wait, I'll say, I cannot really handle, um, things that are far off in distance if they do attack us again. I do have a sling, but I hope you, Arcelia, are equipped with being able to do so. Uh... I do have javelins, but I don't want to waste them. We should be fine. 
It should be fine. If you give support, I am able to work at range. Certainly. The gondola arrives, and her party heads once more into the Nicole Expanse. 